Hello there. Welcome to the El Nuclear channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I'm not by any means an expert in, but I thought it was interesting, and I think I know enough to at least make it a worthy subject of conversation, which is the difference, and I would say the bad rap that mono recordings get over stereo. You know, I was talking to a friend the other day, and I mentioned a mono recording, and they dismissed it like right away, like, oh, I, I, why, why would you want to listen to mono? And this is a subject that has a lot to do with historical context and the way that stereo has evolved in the studio and has represented in recordings that we hear and that we might not necessarily understand the train of events that led to where we are now in terms of stereo versus mono. The Beatles, are, I think, are a good prototype for this subject because the original records made by the Beatles were four tracks that were mixed in mono. The capture was a mono capture. That was the preferred medium. That was the way they made the records. Stereo had existed for a while, but in the pop music world, it seemed as though mono was the industry standard. It was still embraced over stereo. Stereo was a more of a mystery. It wasn't proven to be a better way at that point in time. So when George Martin went back to those mixes in the 80s to make new uh, masters for CD, the stereo created from those mono, or even you know the fact that there were stereo mixes made even then, but they were an afterthought. The Beatles didn't care so much about the stereo mix because it was the mono that they put their stamp on. That was what they endorsed. So stereo was a little bit messy. You had like a complete drum set on the left, the bass on the right, the vocal. If you, you know, did your balance from left to right, you could basically erase the vocal from the track. There, it was a strange, odd way to create separation. But with the technology that we had, that's pretty much all you could do. So they did their best effort to make stereo mix. But mono was the true, full capture of the performance. When you listen to the old mono versions of those records, they sound different. You hear parts that you don't hear in the stereo, which is what you'd think would be the opposite. But when you're taking something that was originally intended for mono and after the fact try to create stereo, you're going to lose part of your performance. You have separation, but it's improper separation. It's not a natural uh, portrayal of what's been recorded, what was live in the room. So this is the, the interesting idea and maybe a misperception that I wanted to discuss which is the idea that you listen to a mono, a proper, well-done mono recording, and it's exciting, it delivers, because you hear the whole performance, you get that real driving force of the band coming through your speakers. If you take that and split it up, it's almost like you're butchering something, you're removing something. So when you listen to, the, for instance, the 2014 mono reissues of the early Beatles records. In my opinion, those are the best sounding versions of those records because it was truly the artist's intent. There's nothing missing. When you hear it, it just sounds so exciting and it's so crisp and it's so alive. And you lose that when you create a split up, strange stereo you know, version of that unlike the new Giles Martin mixes, which are really great because with the te technology we have now, we can do a much better job of creating a proper stereo effect. But mono was the industry standard for the pop rock recording world in the early 60s. Um, so it is really enlightening to hear those records and compare them to the stereo, the early stereo, because they truly capture deliver more of the original 
recording than the stereo versions did. So that is what I wanted to talk about. So mono is not this taboo, avoidable thing. Mono was the way. So when you listen to early 60s rock and roll records that are in mono, know that you're getting the better version because that was what the artist painted. That was the original canvas, the way it was supposed to be heard. Mono. That is what I wanted to talk about today. Enjoy your music, enjoy your day, and thanks for listening.